da 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 our Make Buddy is special. So we see Possum Mini Maker Show, episode five. Ever wanted a pet when your parents wouldn't let you? Why not try Mousy the Jump Bot? On this episode, we'll be building this cool little light-seeking bot with some spare parts and an old computer mouse. Let's go. For this zippy build, we will need Mousy the Junk Bot Kit from Solarbotics. Or find the parts yourself. A full part list is included in the article. Make volume two from the Maker Shed or the Instructable found online an old ball type mouse. It will be our robot body and where we get the eyes. Nine volt battery, some wire, 22 gauge solid core or stranded, some tape or rubber bands for tires, old credit card or springy recycled plastic for the whisker, super glue, epoxy or hot glue, and finally some various tools. You'll find the full list in the article. First take your mouse and open it up. Before doing anything else, look at the inside of the case. Is it big enough for a battery, relay, motors, wires, and sensors? If it looks like your mouse is a good fit, make room for its new brains by removing the board and cutting out all the plastic bits. Don't forget to wear eye protection. Safety first. Line up where the motors will go according to the instructions, carefully cut out the body holes, then glue the motors in. To make tires for Mousy, you can simply glue a rubber band around the motor shaft. If you want to be super awesome, you can take the pulley wheels from an old audio cassette, super gluing a piece of rubber band around it for traction. Once that's done, install the tail switch and then the whisker switch. Desolder the good parts off of the old controller board, then solder two infrared LEDs to wire strands. These LEDs are run in reverse bias mode in our circuit, allowing them to measure light and become our little junk butt's eyes. Now to build out Mousy's brain on a breadboard to make sure all our parts work. You may want to use a bigger breadboard with proper power rails, though. Once all your circuits check out, assemble them freeform, one to the other, inside the mouse body according to the directions. Now that you're all wired up, be sure and double check your circuit is correctly wired and that all your joints have continuity. If you're happy with the results, make sure exposed wires are tucked away to avoid short circuits, then carefully pop on the top. Once it's together, you can decorate it. I'm so pretty. I know I am. Assuming Mousy's in good shape, it's time to experiment. If he's hooked up right, Mousy will seek out and find the brightest light in the room. Have him skirt around the floor, chase a flashlight around, or try putting him in a dark room with a single light to see if he finds his way. It's so much fun! One of the best things about Mousy is he's a freeform bot made from spare parts. With a little work, there's lots of ways to make him better, and with even less work, you can tweak his behavior in fun ways. Try bending his eye socks or reversing his eyes to make him seek darkness. Or get some bigger wheels and geared motors for more traction. That's all we can put on this episode. Remember to experiment, keep trying if something fails, and get out there and make something.